Hello lovelies, welcome to Nart Free Formula. My name's Freedom, thank you for joining me. Um, today's episode I want to just talk about is the new, uh, sorry, is the narcissist new supply really that dumb? And the reason I want to talk about this is because um, when I was in my situationship, right, this is going back, you know, almost 20 years, almost, right? There wasn't this kind of information out there. There wasn't this awareness about narcissists and narcissistic personality disorder and narcissistic abuse. Like no one really knew, essentially. You know, it was only kind of later on in, the, I don't know, 20, maybe 2012 or something, that people started kind of being kind of aware of this stuff. People started talking about it. But in this day and age, how can the new supply be so dumb? Well, I think there's a few things going on here. Um, let me know what you think in the comments, but this is my theory, right? Like I said, for the new supply in my particular instance, not only was she uh, someone who spent time with my family, so my ex-husband and I, you know, in a family setting, she saw um, the day-to-day -day interaction, she saw everything that was going on. So not only did she have that insight, where literally I was, you know, talking to her about, God, I can't get him to leave, he won't leave. You know, um, at the time, her and her boyfriend were, I was allowing them to say, camp out in our backyard because they were homeless, essentially. So they were homeless um, uh, drug addicts who... I let stay in my back out because I had nowhere to go and I felt sorry for them. And he was best friends, allegedly, um, with the boyfriend. So anyhow, they came down the backyard. I actually say to them, look, I can't get rid of him. I can't get him to leave. And you guys being here is only making it harder. So you're going to have to leave so that I can get him to leave. So she's seen how hard it was for me. She's seen the struggles firsthand. So not only has she got that, but she's got me literally warning her, telling her, you know, straight out, be careful. What you're getting into is not what you think it is. You know, he's an abuser and he will abuse you, right? Then I've got a whole freaking channel that she knows about, that they've watched, that they've left comments on, right? How dumb do you have to be? to stay with someone whose ex-wife literally has a channel, you know, discussing all of this stuff and has very clearly on record said he is a narcissist or a psychopath in this case, but anyhow, whatever. Um, so is it dumb or is it that the narcissist is so good at manipulating the new supply? In this case, I think it's a little bit of both, if I'm honest, but anyhow, so Let's talk about the narcissist manipulating the new supply. So obviously the narcissist uses you to triangulate the new supply on many levels. They use um, you as you know a way to kind of keep the new supply in line, you know, um, through there's a few things that they do. So with their behavior, they actually, so with the narcissist, sorry, um, the narcissist actually manipulates the way that the new supply behaves through this kind of behavior modification. And what I mean by that is they will say to them, you know, oh, my ex-wife, you know, um, was, you know, such a good cook, you know, or she's so good with the kids, or she's so good in bed, or whatever, right? So they'll say the things that they like about the ex-wife and they'll kind of talk it up so now she's got to compete with the ex-wife or ex-partner so there's that there's this kind of competitive nature being instilled then there's the opposite of that and that is that once again still behavior modification now they're saying oh my ex-wife i hated when she did that she did this thing that drove me crazy you know so the the new supplies making all these little mental notes of oh, i better not do that you know if i don't want to make him unhappy if i want to keep him i better not do this that and i better do this that and what have you you know making all these little mental notes and then when she does the right thing she'll get the love bombing and the praise from the narcissist and then when she does the wrong thing, she's going to deal with the silent treatment and all the other um, devaluation tactics. So pretty soon, like I said, she's kind of competing with the memory, essentially, the memory of you or, um, and in some narcissist cases, the not only the memory, but the threat of the ex coming back. 
you know so narcissists obviously keep you know lots of people in their little narc harem lots of exes um, and they use those exes to keep the new supply in line those exes are the good exes the ones that are still sorry when i say good i don't mean good actual good i mean just good for the narcissist they're the ones who still believe the narcissist mask um will still say kind things about him to anyone who will listen um who like i said believe this false construct you know this personality that he's constructed so having those women in the narc harem is a great thing for the narcissist and the narcissist will use those exes like i said to keep the new supply in line so she's now competing and feels threatened um and also Another thing I personally noticed was when I was with my ex, he always made these little um, time references, you know, to how long he and his ex were together. And somehow in my mind, it became a bit of a thing, you know, like if we were together longer than they were together, then that means what we have was more real or more whatever. Um, obviously not a really healthy way of thinking, probably not the way I thought actually, but you know, because of all the manipulations and all the things that were going on, um, you know, probably that was the outcome, you know, me thinking that way I ended up thinking was probably the outcome of all the other manipulations that was occurring. All right, so getting back to the narcissist new supply being dumb. Um, yeah, so like I said, they, they, they're looking at the time frame. You know they're holding out for that and there'll come a time once the time frame once you and he that time frame has been passed so just say you were together for 10 years well once they've done 10 12 years that's when the realization was that okay will be that okay they've out you know outdone the the previous the woman for them but now what you know uh, where is it actually going so they will get to that stage but in the interim like i said the the narcissist n manipulates the new supply the way they think about you the way they think about the relationship um the narcissist will be telling the new supply oh you can't trust that you know that bitch you know oh she lies i mean literally i, I could just imagine in my particular instance i could only imagine what he's saying to her about me and you just got to stop and think about the mental gymnastics that it would take right for her to think that my whole channel is just a way of getting back to him i mean literally that's what he's telling her that's what he's trying to make her believe because it's either you know it's either i'm telling the truth or i'm not and if i'm not telling the truth then what would be the point of having a channel where you talk about you know narcissistic personality disorder what would be the point right so she's she has to at least be thinking that i'm doing it as a payback i don't know it would just seem to me like a really crazy um huge waste of time but you know I mean, he's probably got her thinking that. And unfortunately, um, the reality that I'm doing it because it was therapy and now I'm helping other people, that reality is something she can't let into her mind. You know, they cannot admit because as soon as they admit, oh, yes, this person is a narcissist, right? As soon as they make that admission to themselves, then everything they know about narcissism, which is now, like I said, saturated through social media, everyone knows something, at least, about narcissism. They would have heard snippets and bits and pieces on their girlfriend's, you know, Facebook or, um, you know, on, you know, their friends talking about their exes or whatever. Like, they would have heard things. So once they actually admit to themselves, once the new supply actually admits to themselves that the narcissist is a narcissist, then it's all downhill and they have to figure out how they're going to leave, what they're going to do. So they just can't open their mind to that reality. So they're literally kind of keeping themselves in this um, mental prison, essentially. They're keeping themselves there just as much as he is keeping them there. So it's this, you know, kind of um, awful situational scenario where one person is just lying all the time and the other person is believing their lies because to admit that you know your partner's lying to you and that they're actually an abuser and a manipulator like that's just too much of an admission for the new supply then what happens also with this back to this time issue is people start throwing good time after bad so they go 
oh well okay yeah so he's not a nice guy he's a narcissist he's you know he's a psychopath he's a sociopath he's not a he's really not a nice guy but you know i've spent 10 years with him you know i gave him my 20s <laughs> or you know whatever it is um and so they start throwing good time after bad because they think i don't want to start again at my age you know what about all the 10 years that we've already spent together so they literally just waste more of their own time um because they don't want to waste the time they already wasted so they don't want the time they already wasted to actually be a waste even though anyone who's uh, escaped narcissist knows that you know these people there's no such thing as commitment the time you shared with them the second it was over it was over um you know that kind of stuff like yeah the the new supplies reality is so far removed from actual reality it's just mind-blowing all right don't just let me check my notes um, i'm going to add a link to uh, i have a whole playlist about the new supply um <laughs> purely because when i was typing in my tag words which is like hashtags essentially um for your channel i put new supply as one of the first ones and so now what youtube does is any videos that i make about new supply um, it actually will show that to more people than other videos of mine so it's a bit of a catch-22 now because now i'm having to talk about the new supply a little bit more than i probably would like to but anyhow at the end of the day it's no big deal um, it'll help someone out there you know i can guarantee that one of you watching is uh, feeling insecure about the new supply is looking at the new supply thinking oh maybe she's the one you know actually that's what i'm going to link right here i have a video called is she the one um and the short answer is no but you'll have to watch the video to hear the full answer all right darlings thanks for listening bye